So first up is Merrick, and uh, Merrick's going to be talking about uh, climate change and influence in the ocean. <coughs> okay, here you go. Great, thank you. So, climate change is described as a wicked problem. That means it's a complex problem, it's difficult to get hold of, it's difficult to deal with. And one of the difficulties is because the ocean and the atmosphere interact, and the role of the ocean is not well understood, and we're working on that problem. I'm going to try to persuade you that we need to carry on working on that, and that's the most important thing. So it's a wicked problem, we need to keep working at it. So, if we had no ocean, we would have heated up by several degrees already, given the carbon dioxide that we put in the atmosphere. The ocean has absorbed 93% of the excess heat. The bit that's warming in the atmosphere, the extra degree in temperature that we've had over the last 100 years, is the 7%. If we had no oceans, we'd have warmed by several degrees. So the oceans are really critical to understanding what's happening with climate change. If we look at the consequences of that, for example, if the ocean returns, retains more heat, hurricanes could get stronger because hurricanes draw uh, their energy from the ocean. And a warmer ocean means stronger hurricanes. And because the ocean evaporates water into the atmosphere and it falls on land, uh, you can get redistribution of uh, the uh, flooding and droughts because of the ocean interaction with the atmosphere, or sea level rise as the ocean heats and the sea level rises. Uh, heating the ocean affects coral reefs through uh, bleaching, so a lot of that affects due to the ocean circulation uh, around the world. So we really need to understand what's going on and how it's affecting our climate system. We here are working on a particular problem, which is the North Atlantic, where we're looking at uh, potential rapid climate change. North Atlantic brings warm water north. The weather systems across the North Atlantic pick up heat and moisture, which gives us our nice temperate climate, and then the water cools, gets denser and sinks and comes back as a cold current. With global warming, uh, Greenland melting, more moisture in the atmosphere, more rainfall, you can disrupt that by adding fresh water, which makes the water less dense, and that would stop it sinking and you can destroy this current uh, in the North Atlantic. And we've been looking at that since 2004. It's a really important part of the global climate system, particularly for the UK. What would happen if the current slowdown was stopped? Because it would not be like the film The Day After Tomorrow, which was a great disaster movie, but completely exaggerated the effects. But what could happen is like the 1963 winter uh, when the Thames froze, so that could be an effect. It wouldn't happen necessarily every winter, but we'd have more of those. It doesn't mean global warming isn't happening, it just means the heat is going somewhere else and locally we're cooling, which would be strange. And uh, this is uh, when we measured in 2009-10 a slowdown in the ocean circulation. That was the really severe winter when you can see the whole of the UK was covered in snow, and that was in the January of 2010. So we're using computer models, we're using satellite data, we're using observations from ships. The reason Nemo is up there is because the model's called Nemo. So we're bringing these resources together to try and understand the ocean's role in climate. And it's a really important pro pro problem. And it's not just a problem for us, this is me with my granddaughters. It's important for future generations because these issues will persist. What we're doing now will have an effect not just for our generation, but for our children, our children's children, their children's children, probably for two, three hundred years. So we need to think about these problems and attack them. And they will, attack, they will influence people all around the world, <coughs> not just here. So it's a wicked problem. It's an important problem. We should work on it as much as we can. Thank you very much for listening.